Uh, Dr. Bolson, what is, what is a drive over pile? Drive over pile, that's a really good question, Ron. Drive over pile is uh, nothing more than taking a bunker and uh, splitting it into two, two uh, triangles. And so for uh, each foot of, of vertical, we have uh, a minimum of six foot of horizontal at the base. Three feet, three feet on each side of the maximum height. And uh, a three to one ratio, one to three on each side is uh, the minimum. Uh, sometimes we might recommend uh, uh, one third of vertical for, for seven horizontal at the base, uh, maybe even eight. Uh, wheat, more difficult to uh, compact. Forages might need a little uh, uh, less steep slope to compact properly. But the drive over pile uh, means that that uh, slope of one to three or one to three and a half or one to four is maintained on all four sides. Uh, the back slope where we started the pile, the front slope where we carry the pile to the length, and on each side of the pile. Uh, and we can't deviate from that slope. We've got to be able to pack uh, in both directions. Uh, and we've got to maintain that. Now, uh, one way you add capacity to the drive over pile is once you've reached your, your maximum uh, height that you're willing to accept, then you can uh, maintain your sides at that one to three or one to four on each side. And then in the center, you can have a slightly crowned surface on each side uh, of the side slopes and that will add uh, capacity to the pile. But it's a, it's a very simple concept of maintaining your one to three, one to three and a half, one to four on all four sides and uh, you can't deviate from that. Once you eat any of those uh, three slopes that you're not, uh, that's not the front ramp that you're pushing silage up on, Anytime any one of those becomes a slope that, that your packed vehicle cannot drive up and back down on for compaction, then you've lost the drive over pile concept and you're not going to get the sides compacted and you're not going to have the efficiencies that come with the drive over pile. Uh, so you would say the way, the way you describe what a drive over pile is, this one is not. This one is not. What we're looking at is the front slope uh, where they started building the, the push-up pile and finished packing it this afternoon. And we've got about that, uh, that one uh, to three. Uh, we could have accommodated that if we dropped the apex down about uh, five feet so that everything from five feet down down to each corner would have been uh, a one and a three this way. What this pile's got, if we come here to this apex, is a one to one. What do you say to a dairyman? Uh, uh, very typically, you start. You mentioned the drive over pile, and a lot of dairymen have a very have a, have a have a positive image of that as far as as being something that would be uh, a, 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 a target, but something very difficult to obtain because we don't have the room to put it here. We don't have enough room to put it here. How many times have I been told that? And I'm going to say, all right, tell me how much room we've got. And I'm going to take that existing space or footprint. I'm going to work with a spreadsheet, which you and I are, are you're the main author on that. We're going to use our pile capacity uh, spreadsheet. And we're going to find out how, just how many tons of silage we can put on that space that the dairyman said he had available and still maintain the properties of a drive over pile. Okay? And most of the time the dairyman is going to say that's not, a, that's not enough capacity. I need far more tons than that's going to accommodate. And I'm going to say, well, one thing we might do to give you more capacity in that space is look at increasing your density. Because if his existing density is, is average or below, then we've got an opportunity on every pile to increase the packing pressure. Okay? And so, you know, let's say we're, uh, we're one third short of meeting the target for, for the inventory of silage required, uh, and we're at a density uh, that is below the average. 
we take that density up 25 or 30 percent from what it is, and we've nearly reached his capacity target. Or we've come close enough that we can prob probably find a, a small space on the dairy, perhaps between a couple of hay sheds, where we can accommodate that extra one, two, or three thousand tons of silage that we couldn't get on the drive over, the, the proper drive over pile. Uh, and also, too, they'd probably want to take uh, consider their feed out rate, the, the tons of feed that they're going to put out per day in terms of uh, face management. What, what sort of comments would you... Uh... Well, Ron, I think I'd use this dairy as an example. Uh, they want to, to uh, go to the drive over pile concept this year on some corn silage. Uh, you and I know how much space they have. Uh, we know approximately from the nutritionist how many tons of silage per day they're going to be feeding. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, calculate how many tons we can get on, on the pad that's available doing one pile. Uh, and then we're going to uh, look at the feed out face on that single pile and make sure that our removal rate uh, to take off the, the, the tons per day required will give us a theoretical removal rate of 12 to 18 inches off the face of that pile. If we can't accommodate that removal rate, then the next thing we're going to do is uh, take our spreadsheet and say, okay, uh, let's make two piles here so that uh, we can have that minimum 12 to 18. And I don't care if that removal rate is uh, three feet, three and a half off of each pile. Uh, we, wanna, we want to uh, err on, on the side of caution on removal rates. I want to take off uh, twice what the textbook says we should take off, particularly in a climate like this in the summertime. Uh, and uh, obviously by putting two piles on the given footprint, we're not getting as many, gonna get as many tons of of, uh, of silage, but there again, I'd go back to what you said about how can we increase the capacity. Well, guaranteed with two proper drive over piles on, on, on a space this size, we can accommodate an additional pack tractor. And uh, there isn't any reason why we can't have uh, three tractors here. If we're doing one pile here, there's no doubt in my mind that we can accommodate four tractors. We might be pushing up with two and packing with two. Maybe not packing with two extra tractors all day, but during that crunch time when trucks are coming fast, uh, we've got somebody to put on that fourth tractor so that we're not short on packing pressure. So I really like the concept of, uh, of uh, keying in on density because, uh, you know, it's going to give us a lot of trickle-down benefit. It's going to drop the apex, higher densities, uh, which is going to make those piles safer from a, from a cave off or a rollover possibility. And then that denser face is going to be more relatively stable. The air is not going to penetrate. And uh, that's a really good benefit to higher density.